In this video, I open every single one of the brand new Crowns NF tins, including the five pack variant and also the four pack variant as well. And. Oh, yes. It's a secret, rare, right? Yes. The Let's go. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're all doing good. And as you can see right here, I've got the brand new Crowns NF tins. Now, weirdly, in the UK, they actually shipped or released the five pack tins as well. The variant that I'm holding right now is usually what we would expect in the UK to be sold in America, which usually is the case. But for some reason, they just decided to release both. So we've got the four pack tins over here, which, if you're American, you probably don't recognize these style. But if you're from the UK, you will. So, yeah, lots of Crowns in there today. I could get really lucky or I could go away empty handed. Keep watching to find out. Let's get these open. I'm going to start by opening my favorite one, which is this Moltres right here, the Galarian Moltres. And it's actually really nice to see them doing the art raise as the promo card. I know these tins have been so popular. Obviously, they are Crown Zenith. That's probably a reason why they're so popular. I don't know. For some reason, when they do like the V and the GX tins, it's not as exciting as when they do something like this with an art rare. I remember they used to do like a uh, Venusaur and Celebi tin, right? With the uh, special art version of that. And that was really nice as well. Code card for you guys. And look at that. The Galarian Moltres absolutely stunning right there. That's beautiful. What a beautiful card, man. The yellow board actually really pops in this one. Now I've got gray boards and Scarlet and Violet. Everyone's gonna be saying, bring the yellow borders back. But no, that's really, really cool, man. Looks really clean actually as well for a promo. So that's gonna go to Ace. And then we have five packs of Crown Zenith. I'm really excited for this, guys. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you are as well. We've got four from the back. Give it a tap. We've got to celebrate these sudden chill packs while we can before we go up to the one card from the back variants in Scarlet and Violet. If you haven't seen my Scarlet and Violet video, check it out. It was yesterday's upload. So you guys go and watch that. We've got a bit of like a cold slash block nose, but I'm doing okay. We have in our first pack a Scyther and a Molga and a Gumshoes non hollow. My pack look of late hasn't been great at all. That, that rhymes at least. We've got Grass, Rare Candy, Dusclops, Energy Switch, Galarian Meowth, Welmer, Shinx, Quarfish. Oh, we got something here? No, it's just stuck together. Pornyard. Double and a Mew V. We did get something, my word. Let me know in the comments what you guys think will be the best tin. I think the English variant for the four pack tin of the Galarian Moltres will be the best tin, okay? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Here's our third pack of box number one or tin number one, should I say? We've got an Oddish. We have, oh, a seal. We have a Keldeo art rare. One of my favorite art rares as well. You've got the Northern Lights, the Aurora type sky right there. And the final card is, oh my gosh, we've got a double pull. We've got Hatchery V Max as well. I was about to say EX. It's already, it's already uh, confusing me with the Scarlet and Violet EXs and back to the Sword and Shield V Maxes and Vs. That really is a beautiful card. And you know what? This thing's going well so far for just three packs, making it four right here. We see some big hitters in this set that we could pull today. The Giratina is still going for a high amount of money, right? So it'd be nice to pull that, the gold one. The Mewtwo, I love the Mewtwo from this set, actually, one of my favorites. We have a Baltoy, a... Oh my gosh, we got a Cynthia's Ambition. I will take that. Let's go. You guys just saw my video where I actually graded one of these with Ace. I think it got a 9. Or it got a 10. No, it got a 10, actually. Yeah, the English version got a 10. The Japanese got a 9. Essentially, I went to a card show. I had a £1,000 to spend in 10 minutes and then grade them. And if I don't make my money back or break even because of the condition, then I'll lose all the cards. So go and watch it to see what happens. I won't spoil anything other than the fact that I did get a Cynthia. That's an amazing pull right here. Really gassed to get that. I'm also currently working on a Discord bot where you can type the Pokemon's name in and it gives you the average price on eBay in the last day. So right now, I've typed in Cynthia's Ambition. The price is $18 on average. Nice one, that's sick. I'll let you guys know when it's ready, if it's ready. Just something fun that I've been doing. Nothing too serious. Hopefully one day I can make it really cool though, like some cool features. But yeah, I was just messing around with like the AI and chat GPT and stuff. But anyway, here we go. Our final pack of the first tin. And this might be the winner. I mean, we've pulled an incredibly sick amount of cards so far. I mean, this is why Crown Zenith is so popular, right? Because the pull rate is just so unreal. Rockruff. Purloin, a Oddish, and a Waylord. Nothing in the final pack there. That is tin number one. Very good if I say so myself. And of course, we got the Moltres promo. Galarian Articuno up next. Another beautiful art rare. Code card. Sentry isn't as good as this one as well. And I think it's a nice card, but this is one where the yellow borders do ruin it because it's like there's not much contrast between the border and the card. Whereas the Moltres just pops, isn't it? In a gray border, that would look much better. And here we go. Five more packs. There's actually going to be loads of packs in this video. So make sure you guys keep watching. We've got a Darkness Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Pink Urchin, Rare Candy. Shout out to Leon Hart. We've got Snorunt, Pornyard, Tangalar, Baltoy. We've got Meowth, Rockruff, Into the Moon, and a Dubwall. I mean, it's the first pack of a tin, guys. What do you expect? I expect nothing. All right, next pack we got. Grass Energy, thank you for supporting the channel recently, you guys. It's been absolutely amazing. We've been killing it. Trying to keep up to date with the uploads. But, you know, it's hard to do it every day as well as music and everything else I've got going on. But I'm trying my best. Oh, we got Fire Reverse Energy. And then a Rayquaza V. I will never get tired of pulling a Rayquaza no matter what kind of rarity it is. Coming from the channel, I've got some videos. I'm out of ideas again, but I'm going to go back to the drawing board, get some more on the way. So apologies if over the weekend there aren't many videos. I'm trying to get back daily, or Laura and I are trying to get back daily. But it's hard with the baby and everything as well. So we are getting there. And the quality, as you guys should notice, is going up though. Even these regular videos where I'm just opening tin, the quality should be going up a little bit. You know, so we're getting back into it. We've got a Meowth right here. We then have a Swablu Art Rare. Nice. That's a beautiful card. Love that. And then a Zero Aura. Over the back, give it a tap. We've got a Metal Energy right here. Giraffarig, aka Giraffarig backwards. Snake backwards, my guy. He's still in my heart. 
don't know why I said that. We got Helioctal, we got Wooloo, we got Shinx, give it a wink, we got Pancham, we got Snorun. Oh my gosh, Swablu again, no way, back to back Swablus. That's the first time in my life that's happened. Actually, is. I sounded sarcastic when I said that, but I wasn't sarcastic. It actually is. And then, ah, uh, looks Dre. Double trouble, don't forget, guys, a lot of these cards will be going on Pokerand.net. If you want to pick up some singles, packs, anything, please go and check out Pokerand. We just did a massive restock recently, a lot of stuff back in stock, and also a big order has been placed for Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, Pokerand.net, the place to be for all your Pokemon card needs. That sounds quite professional, doesn't it? We got Great Ball, Soul Rock. Trekking shoes. We got behind that a switch, aka Will Smith. We got execute. We got a Molga, Yanma, Cricketalk. Come on, Art Rare slot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Zero Aura V Max special art. That is amazing. I've never pulled this before. You got the Pachirisu sat in its head right there, or its hat. So, so cool. And then a secret rare fire energy. Well, it's not a secret rare. It just goes at the end, right? That's cool. I really like this energy. Textured. Ooh, the way I like it. But the Zero Aura V Max. Let's go. Around $14 right there. And that guy's is tin number two. Now, I personally would say tin number one is still better. So I'm still going with that with the winner so far. But a very respectable effort. Next up, we got Galarian Zapdos. Coco once more. And you know what? I actually think I prefer this artwork over the Articuno. I think the Articuno artwork is really, really nice. The colors are just too similar with the yellow border, you know? So I have to go with more treasure be my favorite, then Zapdos, then Articuno, actually. In Japanese, it might be a different story. Here we go, guys. Tin number three. First pack. You might as well skip this first pack because I guarantee it's going to be nothing. Watch it now be absolutely unreal real i bet it is four from the back give it a tap we got fire energy that's a good sign layer on friends in Sinnoh. i'm a friend but i'm not in Sinnoh. gloom purloin grubbin scrolp helioptile oh wooloo we got a reverse darkness energy and a reggie gigas v not bad not a complete failure for the first pack this time yeah i don't know the pokemon community feels really good right now do you guys agree like i'm enjoying it man back posting content again as well amazing to see all the ace cards being submitted as well really enjoying seeing what people are sending in ace is going from strength to strength right now which is good to see pokerand restocking again i see poke rev hitting 2 million subscribers I see the uk community you got poke chloe poke dean doing bits right now as well gumshoes Sizzle, you got Vivian going absolutely crazy. And yeah, I like it. It feels good, man. A new set just around the corner. Matt Cully as well. I feel like when you list names, then you always you could go on forever. But shout out to everyone. It just feels nice right now to be in, in the community, you know? Some card shows I'm going to. I'm going to I'm actually going to one. Oh, damn it. I just realized I've double booked myself. But yeah, I should be at a card show on the first of April. But watch this space. We've got a Salandit. Then we have a Voltorb. Hisuian Voltorb art rare. Not my favorite. And then we have a Luxray. But it's still nice to pull one of these, for sure. I miss Hidden Fates, man. Anyone else miss Hidden Fates? All right, four from the back. Give it a tap. We have Water Energy, Lunatone, Rescue Carrier, Salazzle, Oddish. Come on, Salandit, Energy Search, Grubbin, Scrulp, Reverse Hollow Sunken, and... Oh, yes! Let's go! The Pikachu. It's a secret rare, right? Yes, the Pikachu. Let's go! It's my first time pulling this. That is huge for me, guys. I'm so happy. Let's go. I saw, like, my mum pack this. I saw people pack loads of these, but it's my first time I have actually pulled this myself. Oh, I'm well happy. Let's go. It's like an end of it. This is, like, the card that ends the era, in my opinion, you know? I don't know why. It's so cool. Nice. I definitely have to send that to Ace. I feel like the center is not amazing, but it should be within that 60-40. Sometimes the way the texture is, like, printed. And sometimes messes up. Like, you can get ink dots and stuff. Fingers crossed. It's hard to see, like, in this light and in this camera, but... Oh, Oh man, I'm actually so gassed. That's sick. That might be the best tin so far because that pull, right? What is the value of that? $25, but I don't care. That's still a great pull, actually. Pays for the tin, right? Yeah. But I don't know. I just see everyone pulling that and I haven't yet, so I'm really gassed. Oh, I'm actually really excited. Let's go. Leave a like just for that right there, guys. Four from the back. Darkness Energy is our last one. This might have to be the best tin so far. I mean, Cynthia's Ambition as well. Mew. I'm unsure. It might have to, it might have to be this, guys. We've got a Pornyard, Cricketot. Shinx, Lost Vacuum, and a Lycan Rock. Let me know in the comments where you would rank this. I think because my enjoyment, that might go with my favorite tin so far. So let's just say, yeah, Zapdos is winning. Sorry, I made the rules my channel. But now we're back to the tin that I said was going to win the whole thing, which is the Galarian Moltres UK tin. Ah, I remember. This is the Hidden Fates insert. I will say, the other tin definitely has a better insert of do like way of doing it. I remember the original Hidden Fates tins, the Charizard ones. The Charizard promo was so hard to get in a 10 because of that. And this new one helped. The cardboard helped it a little bit, but still not great. There we go. Another Galarian Moltres. Centering again, really nice on this one. A few nicks. But like, okay, not bad. Code card. And then four packs this time. So I said this one was going to win, even though it's got one less pack. So let's see how it plays out. The pack's definitely softer as well. I, I don't know why. You can always tell like the strength of packs that makes sense it might not like sometimes the plastic opens easier than others you know product to product we've got fire electric ultra ball giraffe rig backwards giraffe rig we got rivalu starly side to side we got pokeball come on uh when it's stuck together i always get some texture behind it we got mulga and hooper hollow wow the first hollow we'll pull today man very interesting and what do you guys think about the uh, like the strength and like the health of crowns in it as well going into the new era i think it's a strong set for sure i think it's very like fun to open very fun to pull i've actually 
I think I'm going to do a box break soon with a lot of uh, Crown Tennis packs. So if you're interested in that, let me know. We've got double. We've got double again. Duplicate. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a strong set. Obviously, Evolving Sky has gone absolutely clear in the Sword and Shield era. But Crown Tennis could definitely be up there. Some big cards in it. Some heavy hitters. Some good value stuff. But also just like the amount of pulls you can get. And then maybe you think about the average price of everything. If that makes sense. Because there are so many pulls. Like, there's just so much. It's like Evolving Skies, right? You get the Umbreon VMAX special art. You get the Rayquaza special art as well. Or Rayquaza. Rayquaza? How do I say it? Rayquaza. And then, like, if you don't get that, though, you still get amazing cards. The rest of the evolutions, you know? So it's, it's why you got, like, a backup plan. Whereas Crown Tennis is similar as well. You got, the, obviously, the Glorian Gallery. 70 cards in there. Other cards are incredible as well. So, yeah, it's really hard to not get something good out of these sets. I mean, look, even Glaceon V, like, a good card right there. Okay, it's like $2. But what I'm trying to say is it's a Glaceon, you know? You could be worse. Hopefully, you guys know what I'm trying to say. But the art rare, special arts, you know, Glorian Gallery do carry this set a lot. We've got Water Energy. Come on, this has to hit hard right now. we got to get the gold card for this to be the best set like I claimed it would be. Dusclops, Glorian, Mr. Mime, Sunken, Coughing. <laughs> We've got Bidoof, Salandit. We got Thievul. Let's go. I love this card. The art style of this is so stunning. It's like a comic book from the like the eighties or something. And then a Lycan Rock rare. Good tin right here. Not bad at all. Not bad. Definitely not going to be the best of the video, but you know, not bad. I'm not sure if we've sold out of these yet on Pokeran. You guys can go and check. But if you're looking to pick some up, you know, Pokeran is the place to go. And then whoosh. I'll open this off camera because I, you know, I'll focus better. And then four more packs of crowns. Then let's do it. I'm just gonna go for these ones now. I'm excited. I'm always conscious of keeping your guys time. Okay, nothing in the first pack right there. Like I could just sit here and waffle all day opening Pokemon cards, but being as I'm posting daily, I'm kind of like, or trying to, I'm respectful of your time. We have in the next pack, Purloin and a Tangrowth. Okay, meh. Next up, come on, come on. Mewtwo Reversal. I love this card. I love that card. And then a Pangoro. Man, this is going to be an awful tin. The last card in the tin has to be fire, right? You know? Or it could be the Mewtwo, which has a fire Pokemon on it, which is the Charizard, right? Let's see. Oh, I saw something shining. I saw something shining. What do we have here, guys? What do we have? Let's go. Can you see this? Can you see this? I can. A Darkrai V-Star. Let's go. What a great pull. Nice. GG50 Darkrai Special Art. Look at the style of that, guys. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. $25 right there, apparently. I think that's undervalued, man. Because the art style... And then we got an Aggron behind it. I wasn't even caring about the card behind it. I'll be honest. I think that art style is just so nice. And Darkrai as well. V-Star. Great Pokemon. Yeah, honestly... Like, I'm not really super tuned into the market right now in terms of, like, what's a good price or not. But I always base my decisions on, like, intuition anyway. And my intuition is saying, Darkrai, a strong Pokemon, you know? I don't mean just strong in terms of, like, power. I mean, a strong card. Desirable. So, yeah, Darkrai. Yeah, not a bad card, guys. Just keeping your bind or grade or just keep for years to come, you know? But I think it's been a successful pack opening today, guys. And here we go. Oop, oop, oop. The final tin right now, guys. What can we do with this one? Can we improve Nessa? That's sick, man. Love the signature. Reverse hollow. Just three packs to go. The last but not least. It could be the least. It could literally be the least. We hope not. Okay, we hope. We hope. We have an Electivire and a Volo. Let's go. I was going to call this guy Volvo, like the car brand. I don't know why. Volvo. You know? Anyway, Electivire. Really nice. Special art card. Or art, art rare. It's not special art yet, right? So funny. Now we've got the art rare. It's like, it's not quite special, but it's still an art rare. And then we've got a full art supporter of Volo. Very nice pull right there. Two packs Shakur to go. We've got two packs remaining. What can we do with this? It's already a good tin. Potential to go even better than the other tins so far. You need like a gold card right here to beat that. We have a Heliolisk and a Blossom. It's all down guys to the final pack the final count now let's go pause the video right now hashtag last pack look you guys know how we do it on this channel always showing respect to that last pack because you gotta bless it you know you got no more packs remaining after that you gotta make sure the last one is as good as it possibly can be and that's what we're hoping for right now we've got a grubbin we've got a scrub we have a right hand let's go from the galarian gallery right hand full art card that is what I'm talking about, guys. This has been the tin of the full arts and then an executor. I can never say that Pokemon is name right. There we go, guys. The final tin, absolutely stunning. Let's just collect all the cards we've pulled today. Or the best cards, at least. And look at all these. The promos, obviously. Cynthia's Ambition. The Secret Rare Pikachu. And these Aurora VMAX. A very successful pack of in if I do say so myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know I always appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content. For now, though, take care and peace out.